Third of Tim's, okay. okay. The following interview was conducted with Megan Hero, the president of Purdue Resident Halls Association for 2009-2010 for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Wednesday, April 21, 2010 in Stewart Center. The interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the Oral History Librarian. Welcome. And thank you, thank Megan. You. I appreciate <laughs> that. Tell us a little bit about where and when you were born and your parents in early years. Okay. Uh, I was born in Huntington, Indiana, the northeast corner of the state. Um, uh, my parents are Terry and Marie Harrell. Um, what year were you born in? I was born in 1988, okay. uh, December 11th. Okay. Um, even though technically that's a fall month, or still fall, I consider myself a winter baby. <laughs> so. Um, but Do you have any siblings, any brothers, sisters? Yes, I have six older siblings. Um, four of which attended pretty before me, so. They, they set the path for you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell us about grade school and then high school. What activities and things did you were involved in? Um, was it your school, grade school, was it large or small? Or? My elementary school was probably about average because there were quite a few of them in the county that fed into three of the middle schools. Um, but I was involved in elementary school and just intramural basketball and uh, student council. And then in middle school, I was also involved in student council and then the choir, basketball, volleyball, track, and soccer. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then in high school, I decided to do even more in which I was involved with FFA, um, drama, the concert choir. Um, I played basketball for two years. I was a varsity soccer player for four. Um, I ran track for two years. I was also involved, I was president of the class council for two years in high school, um, which made me president then of the, my entire class during those two years. Um, How large was your class? It's about 450 when we graduated. So um, yeah, we started out with a little more than that, but obviously people move, drop sure. out, so. Sure. Um, and I was also involved with freshman mentoring and student athletic board. So. Any athletics in the high school as well? With two? As, yeah. as well? Yeah. Okay. And then did you decide, how did you make your decision to come to Purdue, even though you had a, your even, other event? Um, did, your par did your parents come? No, my oh. parents didn't come here. Okay. Um, I decided to come to Purdue because, um, well, it's known for agriculture. And I wanted to go into something dealing with agriculture. I wasn't quite sure yet what that was, but I knew that's what I wanted to do. And I didn't feel like traveling out of state due to money since I'm paying for my own education. So I chose to come here. And as my dad always likes to tell people that I knew I was going to come here ever since I could crawl, I just didn't know, you know, what I was going into. Parents have a little different perspective, yeah. you know, and yeah. they try to embellish <laughs> things, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, did you come for day on campus as well when you came? Uh, I came, well, I guess it was considered a day on campus. Um, it was during the summertime. Sure, right. Um, so I could get my student ID and everything like that and just get some more information like on financial aid mm -hmm. and things like that. Whereabouts did you live when, uh, when you first came? Uh, I live in Hilltop Apartments, which is part of the residence halls. A lot of people don't think so because it's an apartment style type living but it still gives you all the benefits of living in the residence hall system, which is nice. Right. Well, tell us a little about your major and extra curricular activities, and then we'll move into the presidency of the okay. association. Um, Did you do any, are you in athletics here at Purdue? Um, I'm involved in intramurals here. I, last semester, I was on the flag football team, which we won the championship. It's pretty exciting. Um, and then I also did indoor soccer last semester. And right now, I'm on an outdoor soccer team, which I'm a captain of, so. Very good. Um, classes, I've been. What's your major? My major, I, that'd be a good place to start, is agricultural education. Uh, I started out as a pre-vet medicine, but I decided that I liked being outside more than I liked being inside studying, so I switched my major. Um, but. Due to that, I've been taking probably a solid 18 credit hours since I was a freshman here, so. Okay. 
and uh, any extracurricular activities before we talk about the Western Star um, Association? I'm also a tour guide at Hilltop. Um, I am a university residence's ambassador. Uh, I'm a tour guide for the Visitor Information Center here. Tell us a little about those for the researchers so okay. they understand that. Okay. Um, well, tour, being a tour guide at Hilltop just um, is for those students that are interested about either they're an incoming freshman and would like to know more about the residence hall itself, or they're already living here and would like to know, you know, about some of the other residence halls, since maybe they're used to just having one other roommate and, you know, community bathroom and everything like that. So we just show them around to the different style uh, apartments that we have. And then being involved with university residences, um, I do some of the things like um, the day on campus in which I like, will talk to parents and their child that's going to come here about you know, all 14 different residence halls and everything that is involved in living in each one. That's a lot to absorb, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You to learn. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, and then tour guide at the uni or Visitor Information Center uh, deals with mainly alumni and then prospective graduate students. So um, I'll give either a writing tour of the campus, which lasts about an hour, or else a walking tour of campus, which also lasts an super, hour. Super. Uh, for, the, for a researcher for Hilltop Apartments, do they have cooking facilities there? Yeah. Oh, um, okay. Each apartment comes with its own kitchenette. While it's not, you know, like what you're used to at home, it's still, I mean... But you can do some mm -hmm. cooking things. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's and um, are they are they single rooms or double or how do they what? Um, I've not it been. I know where they're located. But I just haven't been right. There. Um, it depends. There are some where your bedroom is also your like living room and just your common area. Um, mine is set up where we have like a common living area, and then our bedroom, which has three beds since I have two roommates, and then that leads into our bathroom. Um, and then we also have, like I said, a small kitchen area where we can cook our own meals if we want to. Sure. Can they also avail themselves of the, re of the dining halls? Mm -hmm. well? Are they so they yep. have access to both? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the Purdue Residence Hall Association, uh, the challenges and issues and programs, and also tell researchers what the association is comprised of. Okay. okay. Um, the Residence Hall Association is made up of all the 14 residence halls. Um, we have a weekly meeting um, in which two reps, sometimes three, it depends how um, many students are living in the residence hall. For example, Carry Quad and Hilltop Apartments both have like a large amount of students compared to the other residence halls, so they get three representatives for their hall. Um, but they'll come to the meeting and us as an executive board will tell them about you know some things that maybe RHA is doing um, and then each of the halls will have a turn to say what's going on in each of their halls you know and it kind of it's a way to allow ideas to bounce off of each other you know for future events and things like that and also to talk about what's going well and what's not going well within the halls. Um, any particular new programs that you did, they did this year? Um, actually, or yes. Some, or some of the programs that you have that have been. Um, well, I'll talk about something that we do every year. Good. Um, is we it's called Rapa. It's the residence hall free for all. Um, it's just an event kind of to get students excited about um, signing back up with the residence halls. Kind of just a way to show you, like, hey, this is what you know RHA does for you. We put on free events for you that you can come to, and free food and things like that. Um, and then something new that we started just this semester, actually, um, we went together with Purdue Student Government, and um, we show a free movie every Thursday. It's called Thursdays at the Theater. Um, and it's just a way for students to have something to do instead of, you know, getting involved with other things. And how, how, who makes the selection of the movies? Um, we made up a committee, which I was involved with, as well as one of the, one person from PSG. Um, and the way we kind of decided what movies to show was based on 
um, cost. Like, we have to pay for the movie rights so that we can show it to a large number of people. And um, <clears throat> we chose some like newer movies, like movies that haven't been put out yet on DVD. And then we also put out movies that are kind of slightly older so that they would be a little less costly. And how's the antennas been? Pretty good? Um, do you provide the popcorn too or not? No, we don't. <laughs> Actually, um, we do two <laughs> showings on Thursdays. Um, the first showing is at Hillenbrand in the Hillenbrand Dining Court. Okay. Um, and so it's more like a dinner and a movie type feel, which that has been a huge hit. Um, there's typically like, always a lot of people that go to that one. Um, and then the second showing is later in the evening at the Recreational Sports Center. Um, Good that locations. I mean, there's a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. The only the problem though with the rec center, I feel, is um, it's kind of later at night, and so a lot of students don't feel like traveling out, you know, right. to go see a movie. So the attendance during that one has been kind of low. So we're looking at putting it in a different location for next year and continuing this event. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, talk about leadership. Your thoughts on a leader's role in academia and professional life. You look at it. I always get this kind of question, like what you feel a leader should be in. I always see... Or just any comments on Yeah, you know. I, I always see a leader as, I mean, obviously leading a group of people. Sure. Um, but they should also know when to step back and just listen to the ideas of everyone else going out like what everyone else is talking about because um, I, don't, I just feel that if a leader is continuously just like pushing on trudging on they're not really listening to what's going on around them and there's no room for pr improvement so. there's no way you, the input is last is lacking right right yeah uh, are you a board are you saying of a board how many people are on the uh, and how is that comprised is there an election to the board or? yeah okay. um there's eight of us, um, and we have elections in the spring semester. Um, usually, well, we decided to do our elections a little earlier than normal, just so we can have more of a transition from the old board into the new one. And, um, but the elections are decided by the General Assembly, which the General Assembly are the representatives from the hall. Um, and during the elections, whomever is running for the position stands up and gives a little spiel on themselves. Um, and then there's a question and answer period. And then they leave the room. And then there's a discussion period on the candidate. Um. Are you going to be, will you be involved with the association next year? Your term is, ends at the end of the school year. Right. Okay. Um, I actually ran for re-election, so I will be the president again for the first semester, at least. Um, but second semester, I'll be student teaching, in which um, I'll be living at home during that time, since the site that I'm student teaching at is only 20 minutes from my house. So I won't be living on campus next year. So. You get to email back and forth, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that um, a couple of those things that the president's form, you know, Keith Crock talked. Did you were you at the, uh, the challenge the process? These are kind of any comments on any of those that uh, he spoke about. Um, uh, you, I think you've addressed some like enabling, I think is really one of the ones. You want people to participate and mm -hmm. work all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually something um, I've tried to do with the residence halls because a lot of times you get a feeling that there's 14 of them. And obviously they are their own, en their own entities, but then at other times it'd be nice just to see them acting as one whole unit um, and a Hold lot of times together. Yeah, right and a lot of times we don't get that because you feel like well this is my hall I shouldn't have to you know work with anybody else our hall is better than their hall and um, that's what I've just been working with all this year is that's just a to, big challenge yeah it's right. to feel have more of a unified um, feel amongst all of them and we've tried this last year as well um, it's called regional hall activities in which like two to three of the halls will get together and do an event themselves and I think the reason why this has failed is just a lack of communication amongst the presidents themselves of the other halls getting them together mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And instead of then having RHA being more of um, having the bigger role in the event, it should be more of the other, like the two to three halls that are chosen for the event. And you kind of, and they could, the association maybe could help coordinate mm -hmm. and kind of be there sort of on the side as an adjunct or more right. in the term. That's right, good. yep. Good. Did you attend that, uh, the leadership conference that Mortimer put on? No, I oh, did not. Do, have, you, have you attended any of those? They, they do it almost every year, don't they? Mm -hmm. um, no, I usually am able to attend any of the conferences that are put on due to either my own events or us, um, classes and things. All right. Yeah, you said you're going to be student teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, what level are, are you you're hoping to teach when you finish? Uh, high schoolers. Okay. Yeah. That's nice that you got a place close by. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how about a, um, do you have a, fa a Purdue tradition that uh, comes to mind? I don't. Anyone? Or how about an, outs or an outstanding event that's occurred? I usually ask people that. Sometimes they say, well, can there be one? I said, no, you can have more. You know? Well, it's for interesting. The, for the first time ever this past winter, I actually went sledding down Slater. So, yeah, I finally accomplished that one. I still need to do a fountain run before I graduate, though. <laughs> um, that's on my list of things, too. But um, I've done pretty much, like, anything that you should do as a college student when you come to Purdue. I've been to the, you know, big rivalry game against IU. Um, for football and basketball. Um, I've been to Springfest, Spit of Cricket. Um, How about the Triple X? You been there? I have been there for breakfast, yes. <laughs> so I've been on the Boiler Maker Special. Um, Good. Well, you you got to cover these things because, excuse me, you better make, you'll have to make a list of the one I've forgotten, right? <laughs> yeah. Might have to do Academy Park or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, any Anything that I forgot to ask or any comment or things that you'd like to, to share? One thing I did want to ask you, though, is that Residence Hall Association, that's been going for a long time. Mm -hmm. And one thing I think um, the representatives from the residence are, the, the residence hall themselves, the residents, elect the representative to mm -hmm. it? Oh, is that how it's okay? Yeah. Um, usually they wait until the fall semester to pick them, just so that they allow the freshmen to get involved in the hall. Right. Um, because usually, typically what they want to do is have their upperclassmen that are staying in the halls to be, you know, the president, vice president, and treasurer, since right. those are the top three um, positions you can have. All right. What about do you, or do you have any involvement at all uh, association with Florida Gold Rush at all? Um, last year, and actually the year before as well, um, the Residence Hall Association shows a movie during um, the Boiler Gold Rush. And then we will also get up in front of everyone and talk about um, our positions or our roles within the Residence Hall Association, good. as well as some of the things that we do. Well, that's good. That's good, you know, mm -hmm. to kind of get the input, particularly for the new people that mm -hmm. are coming. Yeah. Anything, any, or any closing comments or anything that I forgot to ask that you can think of? When you finish, you'll be you know, student teaching. Are you hoping students are not are teaching in Indiana? Think or Hopefully, yeah. Um, I guess it all depends on the future, but I'd like to stay in Indiana, um, where I actually went to high school. Uh, the ag teacher that I had is going to be retiring soon, so I thought about just teaching there, but depending on um, future things, obviously I'd like to get married, so then it also depends on wherever there. he gets a job. So. There you go. There yeah. You go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, yes, Megan. Thank I you. really appreciate that. I got I sent you that one form, but I have yes. one form. Oh, you got that, and I have the one. And I'll, you're going to be around next year. You know, I'm mm -hmm. going to, it would be good to get a follow-up. If that's okay, I'll touch base with you. Okay, if that's, that's right. Because I think, you know, the more input we get, the better it is. I really enjoy that. So you're going to have the same address. Are you going to be in the... Um, same where you're now mm -hmm. in the fall. Okay, yep. so I have yours. Okay, yep, that's good. Uh, uh, the do you go to the football and, and the games of basketball? Mm -hmm. I actually get a VIP card. So Ooh, that's nice. yeah. yeah.